Space. Odyssey. Dangus. I stand in a terminal, watching the ships enter and exit for hours from the station concourse. People are starting to whisper that I look crazy, but I don't care. I don't even like the terminal food here, and the bartender won't serve me unless I want to trade industrial solvents, which makes me question what's in that terminal food. But I'm captivated by my space leggery. There's something about being able to use your legs that makes everything so big and far away. It's that sense of scale which makes you feel so small and insignificant. But if you look at the cup half full, it also means no one notices when you screw things up. I was returning to my ship when I got the message from Salvation. No one knows the identity of this mysterious figure who seeks to save humanity, but the messages keep coming. When it comes to spamming mailboxes, Salvation is no amateur. The Atom Master and the Hesperus, two 200-year-old ghost ships sent by Azimuth Biochemicals into the black, had cried out to be discovered. The Atom Master returning empty, and the Hesperus getting chomped on by a dredger, both with stories of alien relic hunts and corporate sabotage, both crying out to be discovered so many years later, and both with the anonymous salvation putting a megaphone up to their sirens and looking to commanders to gather the answers. A trail of 17 beacons, 100 light years apart, along a course from Lee Chul to Bernard's Loop, lit the way for commanders who dared walk the path to the unknown. I certainly couldn't resist. A group of the Hesperus's crew had left the ship and could have survived somewhere out there in space. But to find them and their fate, it was going to be a needle in a haystack. I headed to the starting point and began a brute force operation, searching stars around a 100 light year radius from the origin point until I stumbled on the location of the first waypoint. As I dropped in, I felt a chill in my spine, as if something was wrong. This wasn't the beacon I thought I'd find. Hey, you. Commander over there. Who, me? Yeah, you. I, uh, need a favor. Well, who the heck are you? Oh, I'm, uh, I'm Harry. Guardian Beacon. Nice to meet you. Harry? What kind of a name is that for a bacon? Well, obviously that's not my name. My name is completely unpronounceable in your language, so I picked Harry, so that you'd feel more comfortable. Now, uh, about that favor... Oh, this better not be weird. Look, I just need you to shoot me up a little. Right in my tiny little light holes. I've got a key stuck in my digestive tract, and, uh, it's the only way to get it out. That key could be useful, Spatula. You should definitely shoot Harry's holes. Oh, this is definitely weird. All right, Harry, I'll shoot your light holes and make you poop a key. Um, get ready? Oh, yeah, yes, yes. That's good, that's, that's good. Mm -hmm. Feels great. Oh, so. Hurry now, hurry, shoot the other ones quickly. Quickly now, I feel it coming. Oh. Uh, there should really be an elite ranking for becoming a human laxative. That's it! That's it! Oh god! Oh god, it's happening! It's happening! Nova, are we witnessing some form of alien diarrhea? Not just witnessing. Spatula. Participating in. Oh. Oh. Okay, the key is gone. I feel so much better now. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll be keeping this key here, just in case. Goodbye, Harry Bacon. Um... Please don't, please don't tell anyone about this. Bye. Just remember, Spatula, shoot the light holes and you'll poop the key. Wink, wink. Now get the fuck out of here. Can't have bacon poop in privacy. Okay. And with that beacon's behind, behind me, I journeyed out into the cosmos on a mission, past the Witchhead Nebula, following the beacons that lit up the path of the ill-fated Hesperus. Within 300 light years of the 17th beacon, answers lay hidden. But ahead of me, hundreds of members of Canon, the galaxy's largest science fan club, had been scouring the area for clues and had been successful using their advanced spreadsheet technology, locating something in the trapezium sector. The survivors of the Hesperus had landed on a planet with contained something startling, a guardian site, guardian ruins, and a cluster of several downed Thargoid vessels. This planet must have been an alien battleground at some point, 
and that must have been exactly what the crew of the Hesperus were looking for. I ran into Phil Barnes, a cannoneer who was out there to check things out, and together we approached what can only be described as an anaconda turned into a makeshift trailer park. But it had been centuries since Space Cletus sat on his porch with a double barrel plasma shotgun, shooting varmints while playing banjo and wooing his fourth cousin with some spicy jambalaya. The people here had died long ago, and not peacefully. At the site, we found two logs from the Hesperus survivors. In them, it was confirmed that Azimuth Biochemicals, as well as its rival, Pharmasapien, were both out in this region looking for alien technology for military purposes. The Hesperus survivors had taken Guardian relics, and through an experiment gone wrong, they all died of radiation poisoning. The nearby Thargoid crash sites had nothing new to say about anything either, other than that I had never seen so many crash sites in close proximity. Were these ships the product of a Guardian and Thargoid war from millions of years ago? And certainly you can't tell me that Guardian Sentinels did this. So we approached the Guardian site with more caution, hoping to find answers there, but we were only met with some angry sentinels, hell-bent on provoking us to end their million-year-long suffering, which we did. But then I remembered what Harry the Guardian Beacon had told me. Shoot the lights and make a poop. So, I went around the Guardian ruins, shooting the lights, and then I stood up on the altar and dropped my Guardian key out of my SRV hole and into the ground hole, and lo and behold, I was greeted. Oh, hey, it's me again, Harry. Harry? But, but how did you get out here? Oh, I'm everywhere. Guardian technology, instantaneous communications across the galaxy, no big deal. Ooh, how many terabytes in your plan, though? Do you have unlimited long distance? This is not important. If you got here, you must know the fate of the Hesperus and what the humans were doing out here. Yeah, they were trying to make alien weapons 200 years ago long before our Galnet admitted to first contact and knowledge of alien life. Yes, and then they erected an ugly trailer park in the middle of our memorial graveyard without the proper zoning clearance. But I need one more favor from you. Oh, this better not be weird again. No, no, totally normal. I just need you to visit the other Guardian site here in this planet and uh, find a relic. That's where my pack is located, and it's quite itchy. I need you to scratch it. Preferably with your feet. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm a detective, not a chiropractor. If you do this, I'll give you a Guardian blueprint. As I stood on top of the relic, scratching it with my toes, I began to wonder. 200 years ago, these pharmaceutical companies were out here collecting alien tech and building weapons. Only the Atomaster and Hesperus never made it back. But were there other ships that we haven't found yet? And if so, what was done with that alien tech? Could it be that some shadow faction out there already has handheld guardian weapons? Or guardian ships? And what does salvation have to do with this? Are they trying to get the truth out? Or trying to get the secret weapons for their own purposes? Only time will tell. I for one will be keeping my eye on this mystery, and waiting for the next call from salvation to investigate. For now though, stay dangus commanders, and keep your eyes peeled out there in space. Uh, well, to clarify, keep them in your head. Do not, do not peel your eyes, and just look out. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Just look. O seven. Have a nice day. Stay dangus. Bye bye. Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run! 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 Oh no! Oh no! He's shooting me in my light holes! Oh no! Here it comes!